So here is the Hill record holder. And he'll be desperate to put a big jump in. All the teams know that this could be decided on one jump. Oh, that's a huge jump! Now, is that a new Hill record? 131 and a half meter. 131 meters. What a cracking start for Austria. Two to go in the first round. Germany and then Japan. This is the world silver medalist, Sven Hanewald. Coming along as well. Oh, my goodness. But he's crashed. Now, let's hope he's all right. Got 19 out of 20. Kasai for Japan. And Kasai, a little bit more conservative. And that's uh, going to leave Austria in the lead because that's only about 115, 114 and a half metres. And uh, that puts Japan, would you believe it, the Olympic champions of 131 metres. Well, the Austrians who led after the first group in the first round. Real chance to consolidate that lead. Could uh, well be a decent jump, and it is a decent jump. And Hobart right up to... That'll do nicely. Austria back in the lead. Already coming off the in-run here. This is Christoph Dufner, Germany. Oh, Dufner. Terrific effort there from Duffy to try and pull the Germans back. It's going to be a long haul. It's not totally impossible. If the Austrians uh, make a mistake, the Germans could be in there. 126 Finland. And now the last to go, Hideharu Miyahira in this uh, second group. He needs to produce a good jump to compensate for uh, Kasai. Oh! And he gets a telemark as well. Now, just look at that. That was so easy. He made that look so smooth. Just shy of 130 meters, 129. But look at the star marks there. But now we come to the main players. Reinhard Schwarzenberger for Austria. Well, can he follow up? The work that's been done by Wittels and Holvart. Nice big spread of the skis coming down. Yes, he can. This is exactly what you have to do in a team event. Be consistent. Next on the in run, this is uh, Dita Toma. Oh, and Dita Toma with a fantastic job. Da is the Faust. Da is the Faust from Bundestrainer. Der Rekord, aber der, der kann auch so weit springen. Masahiko Harada, vorhin 132 Meter im Probedurchgang. Hopp oder Top, erinnern Sie sich an die Olympischen Spiele im ersten Durchgang. Masahiko Harada, ja, da war er ganz schwach. Nur 79 und einen halben und im zweiten 137 Chancenrekord. Die Sphinx der Japaner, wie nervenstark ist der? Hat er den Federhandschuh, den Dieter Thoma geworfen hat, aufgenommen? Weiter Sprung. Also die Bedingungen bessern sich jetzt. Nicht ganz. Die Regions sind 30 Punkte auf den Finns at the moment. Stefan Ongacher. Well, 120 Meters would do nicely. Anything more than that would be uh, welcome. Well, he hasn't quite got 120 Meters. But the main thing now, remember the start gates come down to 32. The in-run speed is one and a half meters. The man who finished seventh in the Worlds on Sunday. And here's the man of the moment, Martin Schmidt. 126 and 129 and a half meters on Sunday to take his first ever individual major title. Only jumped 115 this morning in warm-up. 
and he's kept that conservative and it could well be that uh, Germany go to the top 498.7 points that's 38 ahead of Austria now Funaki remember there was only 1.3 points between Japan and, and Germany at the end of the third group Funaki oh and that's modest that is modest and Germany will prevail Funaki with 110 meters 98.5 points Saito's the man who didn't get a plate and now Andy Vidhersel well there's no point in holding back this is his second and last effort and Austria could do with another 131 meter jump if he could do that they really would be in contention for a medal oh he's gone to probably about 125 good effort and that is uh, a real kind of house crashed on the first run you just saw there Hannibal can't afford to make the same mistake again oh he's got oh and he stood up he stood up now he's going to get 17s if he's lucky but is that a hill record Dieter Thoma had 136. It's an outrageous leap by Sven Hannewald. It is. It's a new hill record. Sven Hannewald, the world silver medalist. He only, well, one of the judges has given Germany 638 points. And they are 45 ahead of Austria. And this is Kasai under real pressure. The Olympic champions now. Oh, and Kasai has an answer now how close to the new hill record 134 meters so it's not over yet what you can do i can 17 points that's getting quite close actually between those two teams but now the serious business martin hovart the austrians could well, 122 metres a game. I think they'd settle for that if Martin could do it. But he's coming from gate 30. And uh, my goodness, I think he has done it. Martin Olmart. So the man from Mayhofen puts the Austrian team on top. But now, Duffy. 126 meters the first time for the man from Schönwald. Germans will settle for that. Oh, now he fell like Hannibal before the line. Would you believe it? He's lost half his star marks. That Hiharu Miyahira, world bronze medalist. The improving 25-year-olds. Finished third here in the uh, tournament. He'll go for the style as well. He's got the telemark, he's got the distance, and Japan have got the lead. So the Olympic champions are back ahead. And they are up into fifth place at the moment. Crucial jump from St. Veit. Reinhardt Schwarzenberger needs to get at least 115. Oh, that's a great jump by Schwarzenberger. That is a tremendous jump. And the Germans looking silently on. That is over the calculation line. 121 meters for the 20. Now Dieter Toma, who set the hill alight with 136 meters the first time. What's he going to go for? He's surely going to go for distance and sacrifice style. Long, long, long. Oh, and that's another great effort by Dieter. A great effort. And given the 127 meters look at the 19s 
Dida Toma has played his part to forget how much he's actually achieved. Gold medal with the German team in 94 at the Olympics. And it's the individual honours that too often have eluded Dita, but he was the individual silver medalist of the World Championships of 97. Now Harada, Harada. And Harada puts in as good a jump as Dita Toma. And the Japanese are still there with the call. 125 meters. The advantage is still with Japan. 25 meters and the Japanese team. Oh. Stefan Horngacher, the final jump for Austria. In the bronze medal position, coming into this jump now. Needs a huge jump to put pressure on the two to follow him. Oh, and he can't do it. He can't do it. And Andy Vidherzl, Martin Hovart, they groan. 97 and a half. He's absolutely distraught, Stefan. And how much damage has that done? And Finland are just waiting to see. Am I right? No, they're not. Austria are ahead. Austria are ahead. So Austria at least guaranteed the bronze medal. But now Germany, Martin Schmidt. Germany have never won the world. That Schmidt's going long. Oh, and that's a huge leap. Now that has really put it to Fanaki. And the Japanese know they're under pressure. That is over the calculation line. 124 and a half meters. Hug my Hannewald. Hug my Toma. And remember, Funaki has been the most vulnerable of the Japanese quartet in warm-up and in jumping. Only 110 meters. And remember, the gap was reducing. Only 8 meters. Funaki, the Olympic champion, with the team. And I think the Germans have got it. I think the Germans way well have got this. It's very close. I think they've got it. 115 for Funaki. Where are they? Who gets it? The Germans have got it. Have the Germans got it? The Germans have won it. Germany have won it by 1.9 points. That's a meter. That is all it is. Und vor zum Kind. Vor vier Wochen hat er nie dran gedacht, hier überhaupt dabei zu sein. Ja, aber er hat heute seine Leistung äh, unterstrichen. Er hat alles bestätigt, was er hat seine